Okay, so here's the um, the Lightroom Mobile um, editing tutorial we're going to do for this uh, this week's assignment. For our, we're going to edit this photo and we're going to sort of turn it in back um, as close as you can get it to how I have mine, and that's how that's how you'll be graded. So it's important you guys follow along and sort of like um, pay attention to this tutorial and uh, and use this stuff, right? Use the things I'm going to show you uh, to help to help work this photo out. Okay. And get your edit done. Now, the first thing you'll see is I've got my phone up, and I'm going to open Lightroom first of all. I'm going to open it right here, and I'm going to change it uh, horizontal so it actually like um, I don't know. I'm just going to edit better, but I'm going to open up the the um, the save photo of Jacob that I had you guys download. I'm going to open this up. Oh, that's the wrong one. Where is it? Oh, it applied all my changes. So let's reset this. Uh, reset. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is the original photo of J uh, Jacob. I'm going to turn it this way so you guys can see it um, a little better. And it actually makes for a little bit of a better um, view that you guys can sort of see the, some of the stuff that I'm going to be um, working on. If I have it vertical, you guys, it's really tough to see uh, some of the detail work, right? So um, first thing you guys might notice is there is a dust spot uh, top left. So if I hold two fingers and go over this and zoom in, I can sort of pinch and zoom in. And there's a dust spot right here, right? That is a dust spot on my sensor. And you can see it right there, this little dark circle. I'm gonna take that out. In fact, you're gonna reduce, you're gonna find more dust spots. There's a couple, there's one by his hat, right? Which is sort of right there, we're gonna take out. And then I think there's one over here by this tree we're gonna take out, right there. See a little smudge right there. So we're going to take those three dust spots out first, right? Let's just do that. And what we're going to do is go over here under the under the on the far right side. We're going to grab the little um, healing brush. And honestly, for stuff like this, if you tap the little healing part and click and choose remove, we're going to use that instead because I think remove works really well for this. Um, and I'm going to drag it with two fingers around. You can see my little brush size starts to appear. You can sort of see it. Well, I'm going to increase the brush size to about just as bit, a little bit bigger than the dot that I'm going to remove. And then I'm just going to go like this and touch the little thing. And I'm going to touch it a couple times and just remove the thing. Well done. When I like it and I'm done and I can't see it anymore, I hit the little checkbox and I'm good. And I'm going to find my other one. Actually, I see like a, what would be like a hair on the sensor. No, I think that's fine. Okay. So I'm going to come over here and I think there was another one right by his hat. There was right there. So we're going to remove that dust spot also. We're going to use the same technique. We're going to use remove. We're going to find a little brush size by dragging our finger on this. And then we're just going to take it and hit it. And I think that looks good. I'm going to hit the check mark and I'm done. I'm going to zoom in one more time with two fingers and open it up. And we're going to find this last little dust spot right here. We're going to do the same thing with our brush. Or excuse me, our remove tool. Brush size looks, let me check. Uh, about right, a little bit bigger maybe. And then we're just going to hit that with our finger, boom, done. Looks great. Check check mark, good to go. So now that we've done that, we've taken out the dust spots. We're going to do some skin editing. Uh, we're going to change the color of this a little bit. We're going to darken some stuff up a little bit. We're going to add some grain and we're going to export it. Not a big, huge edit on this image. I think the biggest part is his his skin needs to be worked on a little bit. Um, and these power lines that we don't like, or telephone lines, whatever they are, we need to take those out. So we're going to go and take those out. I'm not going to take them all out in this tutorial or else it's going to get super long. Uh, but the first thing, let's, before we take those out, um, should we darken the sky first? No, let's take those out first. So I'm going to zoom in and pinch in, you guys, in the same sort of like way I did before with the information I wanted to delete. I'm going to go in that same little healing brush to, tool and I'm going to grab remove. And I think I'm going to try remove first and see how that works. So I'm going to come in here. I'm just going to grab and with the brush, I'm going to go right there and select all this with my finger and see what happens. Not all these work. Ooh, no, maybe that looks a little bit trashy. Well, it doesn't look great, but I think, um, I think we can work it out. I'm basically going through you guys and going over and over this and trying to remove any little lines or things I see. Um, again, zooming in, because if you zoom in, um, it works a little bit better. 
and oh, son of a gun. I, as I say that, it works a little bit better, and then it doesn't. So that's super good. Um, I edited this one earlier, and I had a way better success rate earlier doing it. And then the second I try to make a video of it and record this, it just it fails. Super good. So it looks like you can see the extent of remove. Uh, and the, as much as you try to remove stuff, sometimes remove isn't your guy, isn't the stuff you want to use. So I'm going to try to do my best, though, and just use remove as much as I can. <clears throat> I'm going to switch to another tool. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to switch to the clone tool right now. Clone stamp, we're going to hit clone. And clone um, works a little bit different, right? It doesn't just automatically remove stuff. You have to choose what you want to remove with it. So the smudge down here, right over here, I'm going to, I'm going to let's go like this. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit that. And it's feathered a little bit. I'm going to touch right here. And then it's going to ask, where do you want to remove it from? Like what? What information do you want to use to put over this? And I'm going to just drag the other circle like this. And, ooh, no, right. Until I find like a density of color that sort of works without leaving a mark. That felt pretty good. I'm going to hit the check mark. Let's see how that looked. Or I'm going to hit done. My bad. Oh, it looks way better. That looks way better. Okay, so I'm going to go over this pull. Oh, dude. Okay, if you grab this and you have heavy fingers like I do, It'll, it'll actually, your screen will only determine that you're, you're grabbing it with one finger and it'll want to make a selection. So you need to grab it with two fingers every time you want it to move or it's going to be making these nasty selections all over the place. So at the very top where there's the little arrow by the question mark, to the left of the question mark with the circle is a little arrow and you can undo stuff. And I'm going to click, oh, let's go done here. I'm going to click done and then I go back and click go back and undo. Oh, I didn't want to go back that far. That's good. Okay. <coughs> okay. So I need to go up and take those other wires out above his head, right? Those are super distracting. So is the one right by his shoulder that I was going to go get right now. We need to take this little smudgy spot off. So again, grab your little Band-Aid, choose clone, make your... I'm going to refine this and I'm going to... I think that looks good. Let me make the opacity a little stronger on that. Done. That looks good. Let's try, let's try this. What the heck? That's super opaque. Let's go back. Done. And like this. And we're going to choose a spot right next to it. Like that and be good. Done. Love it. So we're going to zoom in really tight. Right? And go real small. And get this little spot right here. Because it's not it sucks. And no, we're not going to grab it there. We're going to grab somewhere down where it lives. Right there. Done. And then we're going to work out the last little spot. We're going to grab this area that area and just grab a spot right in here and i think that looks okay now if we zoom back out we, we see that spot's gone right last the stuff we need to come up and clear this crap up up here so i'm going to grab this i'm going to clone from right there and click done i'm going to grab this spot i'm going to clone from over there and click done and usually its first suggestion isn't bad right i mean if they if they're suggesting a thing generally that's a decent area to try to pull from the beginning let's see no that does not look good Reset that. <clears throat> so let's see right about there. And we're going to come in here and grab it right there like that. And we're going to put it right like, remember, move your finger around, you guys, like right until it starts to feel like the same density. Boom. And that looks way better. I can still see a little bit of smudge I'd have to clean up. But you guys get the point, right? So that's how you're going to start cleaning up the wires and stuff back there. You're going to clean up this little stick right here let's go over there and clean that up this little stick will probably need to be cleaned up a little bit done this trash right in here is gross and that's not even close to what it's supposed to look like right about 
There looks pretty good. Okay, so you guys see, overall, I want you to take all the wires out, the three dust spots, and I think you'll be good after that, right? Okay, so next thing, let's go, okay? Next thing we need to do, we're gonna make a global adjustment. Actually, let's select the sky first. We're gonna select the sky by hitting the little very top button up at the top, the little circle, uh, the little dotted circle line. It's above the tool above the band-aid tool, right? We're gonna hit that right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna have AI select it for us. So if you hit the little plus button, you can click select sky and it'll detect the sky for you. Awesome, right? Because then we're gonna go and modify just the sky and we want it darker, a little more dramatic. Looks like it caught his eye a little bit, but we're gonna let that go for right now. So we're gonna darken it up. If we grab, oops, let's see. If we grab our little, at uh, the very top is the light button. Right below that is temperature, the little light bulb. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the little sun. We're gonna tap that. Contrast comes up, we're gonna drop that down a little bit. Just to the left about negative 0.61, just a little bit. And then we're gonna go below that and hit the little light bulb. And we're gonna warm it up like quite a bit. Okay, and then we're, it looks a little green, so we're gonna add some the tint. The temperature we added plus 34, you'll see. The tint, we're gonna add magenta to it a little bit too, sky. And we're gonna add plus 47, and I think that looks good. So we hit the little checkbox, and we're good. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna adjust the whole image, right? So we're gonna make the whole image a little more yellow. So that right there was just affecting the sky. Now we're gonna affect the entire image, right? So we're gonna go to down here to the little sun, and you can see you can adjust exposure here. We're gonna pop it open, bring it up. Mm -hmm. Let's bring it down and make it more moody. So we're gonna drop it down a little bit, the exposure. Let's call it 0.65. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down to the little light bulb. And there we're gonna add yellow to the whole thing, to the whole scene. And we're gonna add a little bit of magenta. So how much yellow would you add? We added plus 39 yellow. And then we're gonna drag the slider to a little more magenta. And we're looking at a little more magenta also, plus 40 magenta. And I think we need a little more yellow. So let's add this to like, let's make this to like 60. That feels pretty good. Okay, so after we do that, if you just tap, um, if you just slide that, let's see what else we wanna change. I think we're good. We got that, we got that, we got the sky. We do need to add a linear gradient. At the very bottom, it looks a little bright. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna darken the very bottom which is sort of like a dark vignette, but we call it a gradient, where it goes from light to dark or dark to light in a very smooth way, right? It's not abrupt. So if we go up to the little mask again at the very top, um, you're gonna click the little blue plus button, click that, and then you're gonna, collect, you're gonna select linear gradient and tap that. Now at the very bottom, if you pull your finger up from the bottom and drag it up from the bottom, what'll happen is you'll get this cool thing that shows your gradient. And we're gonna bring it up right about here because what we want is a dark area below the little blue bar. At the very top, the bottom is gonna be darkest and then it's gonna be like mid gray and then up top where his hands are, it's gonna fade out a little bit. So if I let it go right there, now I can make an adjustment on the side again where I'm gonna go up to the very top and I'm gonna to touch the sun. And the sun is basically your exposure uh, measurements, right? So if I drop the exposure down and start making it darker, you can see I darken the whole bottom area down here. See that? Here's brightening it, here's darkening it. So I'm just gonna darken it just, you guys, a little bit to bring the attention to his face. And I'm probably thinking like minus 32, or minus 30-ish, right around there. I'm gonna hit the check mark box, and that's good, it looks great. It looks a little darker at the bottom, right? Um, his head and face look a little bit better. And um, yeah, that's it. Last thing we wanna do, guys, is skin edit. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna zoom in like this, and we're gonna zoom into his skin. I know it looks it looks really, really, what do you call it? Um, it's really in your face, right? But we're gonna take this, we're gonna take the little Band-Aid tool again, and this time we're gonna use the healing brush. The healing brush basically helps, basically does exactly what it says, it heals the area, right? It tries to average the skin tones, the, air, the texture and stuff in the area to remove this kind of thing. So we're gonna take these acne spots out and see if we can't like take them out Without, I touch some and I, on others, you guys, I just sort of like tap it. Um, we're trying to basically have healing come in and help, um, help some of this stuff out, right? I mean, smooth out some of these inconsistencies in skin. So I'm going around, I'm trying to like, 
wipe out some of these spots. Get rid of some scars and stuff, right? And you can sort of see it's starting to look a little better as I get going. You want to work with a small brush and you really want to zoom in like this, right? You want to have like a really good control or a real good control over what you're doing. And this is where um, it really helps to zoom in on your phone to the skin and tap around and like just try to remove single like acne spots. You don't want to like do the entire face like this because then you just, the entire face looks like trash, right? I mean, it's just it's gonna look bad. You want to just hit the spots that look like they need to be like, you know, maybe helped out a little bit in terms of texture. And then what you want to do is, um, yeah, just, I mean, keep going until it looks about how you want. Oops, I made a, a couple of really, I was staring at something else and got really distracted. So I got to come back off that. That looks better. Okay, good. Okay, so that's how you guys are going to basically edit his skin, right? You're going to go in with the healing brush. You're going to go in with the clone. I would honestly recommend you guys switching between remove and healing when it comes down to, when it comes down to skin issues. Okay. Like remove will just wipe this stuff out and you can literally just take the little pock marks and stuff out. Healing tries to keep uh, certain types of skin and stuff there. Um, and remove just, just freaking removes it. Right. This wipes it all out completely. And I think healing tries to smooth it out a little bit. So that's what it's going to look like. Okay. So what we've covered, we've covered skin editing with the remove tool and the healing brush. We have used the temperature slider, right? Which is under the uh, light tab, the very bottom, there's a little light bulb. We've used that. Uh, we've used the exposure slider to darken the sky, right? Uh, we've got the dust off and we've removed the little, um, um, the, uh, or either those are power lines or telephone lines. We've removed those or most of them. I didn't, I didn't finish mine. Remove all the power lines. You guys don't make yours look like mine, right? Take all the power lines out. Um, in addition, I would also take out, there's a little bit of like a sliver of, of wood over here on the side. And I honestly would probably see if you can't take that out with probably remove and see, let's try that. Let's see if we can get that out. Oh my God. See, I do that all the time. I go to touch it with two fingers and because my fingers don't perfectly touch it at the exact same precise time, it thinks I'm trying to like edit and I'm actually just trying to move the damn thing. So freaking annoying. Okay. So I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna wipe it out. Oh, man. And now it won't like, no, it won't let me wipe it out. Come on sucker. There we go. Mm, still looks like trash, doesn't it? God, the goal here is to wipe that whole little sliver of wood out over on the side, right? Um, but, and it looks, sucks. So let's use the, let's try the clone stamp. And again, we're gonna find it right next to it. No. I feel like that's doing nothing. We're going to crop that out. God, that is really annoying, you guys. Dude, this is super annoying. I literally should be able to just remove that or let's heal it. Maybe I think it's cause it's right on the edge. It's working like trash. Nothing's doing it. I wonder if it's something wrong with my, my thing. Cause I should be able to get that out of there. Zero. There's like literally nothing fixing that. Okay. Well, I will crop that out eventually. So this is what it should look like you guys at the end, right? Skin editing. Um, so it's edited skin, remove the three dust spots, um, remove the power lines, add the yellow, um, darken it up. And the last, we're going to add some grain to make it look a little more, I don't know, organic. So at the very bottom, it should be under effects. You can add grain. We're going to add 50 grain to make it a little more like film. 
So there's that, right? We're gonna zoom in and look and see what I did. And you can see, see the grain? There's zero. And there's 50, right? It look, makes it a little more gritty, a little more granular. Like I, I tend to like that a little bit. I don't know about you guys, but I like a little green. It has, that's the throwback to sort of the vintage idea, like with film and stuff, right? So um, that looks good. Let's see. And now we're gonna export it. We're done, right? So now how do you export? The little square at the top, right? You're gonna click that and you're not gonna hit save as, you're not gonna hit anything else. You're gonna hit export as. So I'm gonna hit export as. My file type is gonna be JPEG. Dimension, largest available dimensions, image quality, 100%. I'm gonna include a watermark and you guys need to also, right? Your last, your first and last name is fine. So I'm gonna click customize. And over here, you can see it says Aaron, copyright Aaron Draper, it, where it puts it. Um, you can put a drop shadow, you can make it however you want. Um, you can make the size bigger, right? Like that, or smaller. I prefer my little smaller, like, I don't know, like 10 ish, right? You can change the opacity of it. So it's like light or super bright, make mine like 40. And then you can change some vertical and horizontal offset, right? Where you can move it around a little bit, depending on where you want it. And I don't mind it. I don't mind it right there, right? And that's it. So once you're done with that, you go back, right? You're good. This all looks good. So we're gonna export, we're gonna save the photo, and it asks me where I wanna save it. I can upload it to my drive, I can email it to myself, I can do all kinds of stuff, but for the for purposes of our assignment, I'm gonna email it like to my Google, or send it to my Google Drive, or I'm gonna put it in some other, um, other thing, um, or I'm gonna save it to, I think I can even save it to, oops. Oh, come on now. Oh God, I'm so glad it was shared. Let's try it again. Oh, export. <clears throat> oh my god, I keep doing the same, there we go. And all I want to do is, oh, my fingers, I swear to god, my fingers are huge. Like, I don't know why my fingers are so big and don't like actually work with this, but see it come up right there? I should be, there we go, god. Come on, huge fingers. You can also see where it says save image. You can also save this back to your phone if you guys need to and upload it to Canvas, right? Okay, that's it. I look forward to seeing your guys work this week. Um, have a great week and um, yeah, can't wait to see you guys' uh, super amazing editing skills.